This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater. And I've seen The Blob, a science fiction horror movie from 1958, directed by Irvin Yeworth Jr. It follows the events that befall a sleepy little Pennsylvania town when a meteor lands on its outskirts, bringing with it an alien creature of some indeterminate physical makeup but clearly able to dissolve the flesh of any person unfortunate enough to be in its grasp. As it digests and absorbs people of the town, increasing in size as it does so, a group of teenagers must try to convince town authorities of the danger at hand before it becomes large enough to destroy the town, the country, and possibly the world. Despite being released in the era of the classic B-movies and having a story to match, this is a film that takes its premise seriously. It doesn't waste its time on exposition or pseudoscience while putting all that it's got on the primary gimmick. Instead, it takes its time to develop the story, or at least give the movie an actual story worth following. The end result is still a bit light on substance, pushing things along steadily, hitting plot points when necessary, and putting more attention on creating suspense within a scene or location. Though that's not to say that it doesn't dedicate time to the blob itself. It just means that characters are a bit simplistic in their personalities and motivations with one-track minds and archetypal standards that don't really change until coming face-to-face -face with the creature. Similarly, an underlying idea of a generational gap between the teens and the town adults doesn't go much anywhere, being introduced more as a plot device than an overarching theme, fizzling out when it becomes most necessary for the story to have it gone. It's really in the story and dialogue that the standard tropes of B-movies are most apparent, as if the writers didn't expect the final film to have a lot of effort put into its production. The visual style of The Blob makes up for most of the story faults. The film puts itself above other B-movies of this era by presenting its story in color, rather than in black and white like, um... Uh just about any other B-movie I've seen around here. It's not just treated as a gimmick or selling point either, with a vibrant contrast between light tones and dark shadows that help characters stand out against the nighttime backgrounds and give the overall image a sort of artistic flair. Cinematography is also pretty well handled, not enough to point out any specific creative decisions but clearly designed against letting things fall into the frame by accident. The absolute highlight of the movie is, of course, the titular blob, which seems truly lifelike at times while remaining completely alien. Its flesh-eating effects are also shown in a relatively realistic manner, uh, far from gruesome, but still shocking in their design and visceral nature leaving more to the imagination than anything else. The movement of the creature is probably the most impressive effect of all of them, with it maintaining a sense of cohesion and togetherness while still being able to ooze its way through multiple openings. Even if you can't actually see the whole of it, you get a sense of the danger it presents, and overall I think that's one of the film's greater strengths. Despite the story about it having weaknesses in its script and structure, the blob itself is presented in such a fantastic manner that it's almost impossible not to be taken in by it. The Blob, Irvin Yeaworth Jr., 1958. Four and a half stars. I definitely recommend watching it. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. 
it's nice to know that just because your movie is fated to drive in double features, it doesn't mean you have to stop caring about its actual production. I feel like I've seen more recent movies that have been made by lazier people. <laughs>